guys, my name is Izzy. I'm a sporadic YouTube. I got, I went to a library book sale today, you guys. Ouch, I just hurt myself really bad. That really did not feel good at all. Um, but yeah, I got a whole bag of books for 20 bucks. Yeah. So I kind of forgot what I bought already. So without further ado, I just wanted to do a little book haul. Woo! <laughs> So these two books are actually um, duplicates, but the copies I have are a little beat up, and these are nicer uh, copies. Um, this is Perfume, which I've talked about before, which is Das Parfum. Um, it is a German translated book by Patrick Suskind. Um, it's very creepy and eerie, and I really enjoy it, but I haven't read it in a long time, so I should reread it. And Night by Olivia Sal. This copy is in really nice condition. The next book I got is Pirate Hunter by Tom Morrissey. This is a novel about um, some guy hunting pirates, I guess. <laughs> the next book that I got is Push, um, which is actually the story that Precious, the movie, was made after. So yeah, I'm really excited about this, actually. I haven't read this before, so I'm pumped about that. The next book I got was by Gregory Maguire. He wrote Wicked, which I have. I just don't have this one. The next book I got is Rockaway by Charlie Fletcher. This, I have no clue. This is like a girl who's in... Manhattan Hospital, but she's and she's also in like a different world, I think, with heroes and villains. She's in like an alternate universe kind of thing. Hey, it's signed <laughs> to Morgan. The next book I got was a random like thriller, um, detective mystery, murder mystery kind of book. I don't know, it just sounded interesting. Um, I'm not sure too much what it's about, but um, I really like the cover too. <laughs> that's that's kind of what sold me, and it was really small and I could just slip it in my bag and add it to the pile. Um, this is A Passion for Killing by Barbara Nattle. The next book I got was The Shining by Stephen King. This, I really, really like this, this edition because it's like really old, and I think the edition I have doesn't even have a cover or it's a paperback. So I, I don't know. I really like this like old edition, this old hardcover. I was digging it. A couple are just another like murder mystery thrillers kind of books. Um, I got Heart Shaped Box by Joe Hill. I also got Caroline Keeper's You. Uh, on the back it says, you're going to be sorry when you realize what you made me do. The good news is I have no regrets. So next, I got a couple books um, on geology. Um, this one is The Geology of Walter and Park. I've never been there, but I love, I am obsessed with geology and paleontology and all that stuff, so why not? I picked them up. Um, I'll add them to my collection and page through them. And this one is actually um, Hiking America's Geology. This book was really interesting. I really like the pictures a lot. And um, it's actually some of the parks that I've actually been to. I think Yellowstone is in here, which I've been to. is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. If you have not been to Yellowstone, you need to get there. It's gorgeous. I got a little portable Darwin. I don't have this in my collection yet. I had to double check. No, I don't have it. I have um, Origins origins of the Species, but I do not have this one. So this is just like a portable Darwin with a whole bunch of other of his essays and stuff. So that's pretty interesting. Could you move over, Daryl? I got a couple little random books. This one is 20 Love Poems and a Song of Despair by Pablo Nero, Nerda? Nerda? I'm not sure what this is, but it sounded interesting. I like the one song of despair. Um, so I picked that up. I also picked up 12 Poets. Um, it has William Shakespeare, Alexander Pope, um, Emily Dickinson, Robert Frost, T.S. Eliot, and a bunch more. And yeah, I picked that up too. I really liked it because it it's like for an old book, it's really like very well put together. <laughs> then I got a whole bunch of travel guides and stuff. Um, I figured what the hell, <laughs> why not? I got an Ireland one, which I haven't been there yet, but uh, someday. It's on, our, it's on my boyfriends and I list of places to go. I got two Europe ones because I do travel to Europe. I have been to Europe the past three years. This will be my third year going to Europe. Um, but um, this is Europe 101 and this is Europe through the back door. Josh and I, well Josh in particular, my boyfriend, is obsessed with Rick Steves. He loves Rick Steves. Um, okay, I won't say he's obsessed, but he loves Rick Steves. So um, I kind of got these just for him to page through and look at. 
because I thought he would find them interesting. And this was actually a really cool thing that I found. These are two little books on Dubrovnik, um, which this is where we are going this year. Um, we're going to Croatia in September and October. Croatia, Croatia and Montenegro. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this. And we're going to Dubrovnik. That's, I think we're spending the majority of our time in Dubrovnik. So yeah, this is this is pretty cool to find. I was actually really excited about this. I love when I find stuff like related to like trips I'm about ready to take. I think that happened last year too. I think I found stuff for Munich last year for Germany. And I was going to Germany last year. I got everything I never told you. Um I have not read this yet. Um but heard amazing things. I've seen it all over BookTube and for some reason I don't own it yet. So I picked it up. I got Hannibal um, by Thomas Harris. I have not read these either. So I just bought, not too long ago, I bought one of the other books and I was planning on buying all of them and when I saw this I was like, yay! I needed that. So, woohoo. The next book I got is Little Bee by Chris Cleave. Uh, I have no clue what this is about but I have seen it all over booktube and I've heard good things. I'm hoping it's good. I don't want to tell you what happens in this book. It is truly a special story and we don't want to spoil it. Nevertheless, you need to know enough to buy it, so we'll just say this. This is a story of two women. Their lives collide one fateful day, and one of them has to make a terrible choice. The kind of choice you we hope you never have to face. Two years later, they meet again, and the story starts there. Once you've read it, you want to tell your friends about it. When you do, please don't tell them what happens. The magic is how the story unfolds. It, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't read it, um, but it sounds great, so I'm excited about that. I'm sweating. I'm literally dripping sweat. This is nice. <laughs> It is so hot in here, it's ridiculous. The next book I got is The Night Circus. I have not read this yet, but I picked up a hardcover copy at the bookstore for a dollar at the library, the other library, for a dollar the other day. Um, and I just thought the paperback would be quite nice to have. The next book I got was When Do Fish Sleep? I like to put these, this is gonna sound weird and probably a little bit TMI, but I like to put these kind of books like in the bathroom. I don't know why. I like to like, I don't know, when you're in the bathroom and you're doing your business, uh, I like to read like random facts. <laughs> Shut up, okay? Everybody does it. Everybody poops. Everybody pees. It happens. But this is, <laughs> these are the kind of books that I like to keep in the bathroom for those occasions um, because they're just really fun and I like learning like random facts and random things and that's what these books are about, these kind of books. So yeah, I picked that up. The next book I picked up is Bleed um, by Laura Fiera Stolartz. The name is hard to say. Uh, this is a book about, this is a YA and it's about 10 teenagers and it takes place over a single day and all their lives kind of intersect. And I think there might be like some murder mystery kind of stuff going on, um, judging from what it says on the back. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But it looks pretty good. Oh, so I picked up another book. This is just a little book on William Shakespeare. Um, just a bunch of little things about his plays and random facts and stuff about his life. And someone has been doodling like galore in here. The next book I got is They Poured Fire on Us from the Sky. This is a true story of three lost boys from Sudan. Um, this basically is what it says, Three Lost Boys from Sudan. This happens during the massacres of the Sudan Civil War between 1987 and 1989. Um, and this is just like their stories. And there's these three boys on the back. Um, well, they're not boys anymore, but they look, they look grown up to me. The last book that I got, um, which I'm actually the most excited about, I think, and it was one of the last books I found. Um, this is the Society of the Society of Steam, book one, The Falling Machine by Andrew P. Mayer. This is like steampunky um, looking. It says on the back, if Stanley had lived in the 1800s, this is the book he would have written, Steampunk Superheroes. Uh, so. You guys, it sounds pretty cool. Um, it's it's set in 1880. Um, women aren't allowed to vote, much less dress up in costumes and fight crime. But 19-year-old socialite Sarah Stanton still dreams of becoming one of the Paragons, New York's greatest team of gentlemen superheroes. So yeah, uh, this sounds absolutely phenomenal. I am really pumped. And this is only book one! So I'm really hoping I enjoy it and I want to get the rest of the books. This sounds just... Look at the pictures. Ah, it just sounds badass. The only thing that could make this better was if it was a graphic novel. <laughs> but it's actually a novel. Um, 
I want more pictures. Um, but this, this sounds badass. I'm pretty excited for this. This is my most anticipated read, I think, out of all of these so far. This is the one that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to read this. <laughs> so that's all the books that I got. Um, I stuffed them all in this bag. You pay $20 for a bag and you just stuff it as full as you can. I got about 28, 29 books for 20 bucks. It's less than a buck a piece, you guys. Woo! Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to read some of these. If any of these you think I should bump up on my list, you are really interested in me reading, you have read, or you just want to hear me do a review on, please let me know in the comment section below and I will obviously do that for you. Peace, I'm out, goodbye guys, have a good one, love you.